Hi everybody, it's Franny from Heidi and Franny's Garage and today we're going to take a look at the climate control module on the 993. It's the same sort of module that's also on a 964. They're a little fan in the back and it can over time if the bearings on that fan get a little dry they can sort of wobble and squeak and make a little bit of noise and I'm starting to hear that a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and pull it out and grease up that fan. Our first step is going to be to get the unit out of the dash. Now there's four holes in the corners of this thing and there's a special tool to pull these things out. You can actually buy a Blaupunkt radio tool will work as well and you can insert them in there and pull the unit out that way. But if you don't have that tool, I'm going to show you how to use tools that you already have in your garage to go ahead and get this thing out. It's actually not that difficult to get out. All you really need are just four little teeny Phillips screwdrivers will work. These are just from like the various screwdriver kits that I've had over the years. And uh, two shorter ones are great for the inside holes and then the longer ones can go on the outside holes. So I'll show you how to use these and pop that unit right out. So here's all you have to do. Take your short screwdrivers and just push them in until they stop. There we go. And then your other two screwdrivers here and here and this will release the catches on this unit so you can reach behind it and actually push it out okay so once you have it out a little ways like that you can sort of grab it and work it out you can take your screwdrivers out at this point here we go okay great now watch your uh, windshield wiper, washer arm here as this comes out. You might have to kind of move it up out of the way a little bit. Then just reach around and pull this guy out. Comes out pretty easily. Just once again, watch that lever there as you're pulling this out. So you want to disconnect your plugs. There's a connector here on this side here. So you just want to pull that. And the, this one should pull out. There we go. Here's that one. And it's sort of hinged. See this hook right here? It's sort of hinged on this side. And the cl clasp is actually on the other side. So now you can kind of see what it actually looks like. The other plug is very similar. It's just that the latch is actually on the outside. So we'll push that up. You need to pop that up like that. And then it's same as the other one, it's hooked on the other side. With our unit out, we're going to go ahead and move to the workbench. We're going to be taking the small fan off the back of this thing. We're going to take it apart and go ahead and grease it. Our first step is going to be to pull the fan itself off the back of the unit. There's a little plug down here for the wire that goes into it, so we'll pull that first. Then there's a couple of small, I think there's seven millimeter little nuts that we want to pull off and we can pull the fan off and then we're going to sort of disassemble the fan. So let's start with the electrical plug and then our two seven millimeter nuts. All right, so this just pulls out, that's easy enough. Then these guys come right out as well. All right, great. And pull this little guy out like that. There we go. Now there's a couple of small little lock washers underneath those nuts. So you want to gather those. You can set this unit aside at this point. We're kind of done with that for now. So our little fan motor here just has two little Phillips screws here, here and here. But what's kind of crazy is there's little nuts in here and there's one over here as well. We can see our little fan here. Okay, so we're going to take these screws out. But take care not to lose those nuts. Okay. And that allows us to take this metal cover off, which we can set over here. We don't need that. Now the motor is going to come apart just like that. Very simple. 
And what we're looking at here is this teeny weeny little bitty shaft here. It's very small. We can pull this up as well. We can see the other side of it here. But what we need to do is just put this teeniest bit of grease on each side of this shaft. So here and here. So pretty much any grease will do. I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, wheel bearing grease. Uh, molybdenum grease will work. Something not super light, but it doesn't have to be super, super heavy either. So now I'm going to wipe this clean first. I just want to make sure that it's clean, both sides. One of the best things to use to lubricate our little shaft here is just a simple toothpick. Apply just it's a teeny amount of grease. It's just a little baby bit. That one, it's really just a kiss of grease, not much at all. There we go. And now we can just reassemble our fan. It's really pretty simple. Now one of our nuts has escaped over here as we expected, so just be careful of that. Don't let those things run away. There's little magnets on the bottom of the fan, so they go down on top of the the electronic bits here in the motor and we're just going to drop this shaft in like that spin it around a little bit clean any bit off of this all right there we go and then now the way this goes back on is the the little horn here goes sort of on the opposite side you can see these little notches here they're for the wires so we're going to put this together like this and then these guys will hold the wires. So if you're a little confused as to how it went back together, just kind of spin your fan a little bit, make sure that it's happy in there. With that cover back on, we all we have to do is put our bracket back on, put our screws in, and we're ready to put it back on the main unit. Okay, so this kind of only goes one way. Kind of like that. Now remember, our little nuts have fallen out here, so we're going to put one of them in and then grab one of our screws. Run that in a little bit. Grab the other nut here. Drop it in its little slot. Grab the screw, put that back on. And we can go ahead and tighten these up. They don't need to be very tight at all. They've got lock washers on them. All right, so our unit is all done. It's all greased up and it's ready to go back into the main unit. So we just go ahead and fit it back the way it was, put our seven millimeter nuts back on and we'll be ready to put it back in the car. All right, easy peasy. This little guy goes inside this tube. Make sure that it fits inside the tube, great. Put our little, there we go, grab our little lock washers on each side and then our little seven millimeter nuts here. Just sense those down. Once again, they don't need to be super duper tight. And we don't want to forget to plug our electrical connection back in for the motor. There we go, until it's seated. Now our little fan motor is all greased, all happy back here. All we have to do is put it back in the car. Very simple, we're just going to plug the plugs back in and then we'll test it really quick because I don't want to put it all the way back in and find out I didn't get something right. And then once I'm happy with that, we just pretty much just slide it back into the dash and we're all done. So the connectors go back on pretty much the same way they came off. So you want to get that hook on the back here on the end and then we can just sort of slide these guys down and clamp them on until you hear them click. There, just like that. We do the same thing with the other one. And it goes the other direction, which is kind of interesting. All right, and then there it goes. All right, so that's it snapped on. So we can begin to sort of feed it in just a little bit. Remember our windshield wiper switch is all the way up. All right, great. Now we go ahead and just test it and make sure that it's happy. And we wanna make sure our fan is working. 
There we go. We can hear the fan working just fine. There we go. We can see the displays lighting up. That's great. Okay. All right. So we just slide our unit back in. There we go. Just kind of push it on all four corners. Make sure it seats. And that's it. We've got our climate control module back in and the little fan is absolutely silent. So it's pretty easy, huh? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get right to them. You can always follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you really like the video, go ahead and share it with your friends. That would be super awesome. So thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.